Hello everyone. In the previous session, we learned about insert or delete columns activity. In this session, we are going to learn about insert or delete rows. Okay. First of all, let me give you the scenario. If you see on my screen, I'm having an Excel of students which belongs to class one in the sheet one. And after that, in the sheet two, I'm having the students of class two. Now, in the sheet one, what I have to do, I need to add the rows on the basis on the position. Now, if you see the student, I want to add the rows of the students which belongs to class two that I need to add it over here at the position of two by using a insert or delete rows activity. How can we go ahead and do that by using insert or delete rows activity before that you can ask me in the previous sessions we have seen one of the activity that append range activity which we have added the data at the end of the file return file but here now if you want to add it in between the rows or in the particular position or the particular rows position if you want to add it how can we go ahead and do that by using insert or delete rows activity if you want to insert it based on the position then we are going to use insert or delete rows activity if we want to delete also we are going to use insert or delete rows activity by changing the mode okay now i will show you how to do that first of all let me add a sequence right click and add a sequence i'm going to give it the name as insert delete rows activity click on create now as the first step what we are going to do we are going to drag and drop this excel application scope onto the panel now select by browsing a file student marks i'm going to select it now our priority is that in this session is to work with insert or delete rows activity where we can find it out first search for insert or delete rows you can see over here under processing under app integration under app integration you are having excel under excel you are having processing okay there you can find insert or delete rows in the previous session we have already seen insert or delete columns now we are going to work with the insert or delete rows let's drag and drop activity onto the do activity now first of all we'll see the properties okay the first property is that display name you can see over here insert or delete rows number of rows how many number of rows you want to insert or delete you have given as a one over here but if you can give n number of things in integer format if you want to give five or six or n number of things n number of rows then you can go ahead and you can give it over here but you have to give in integer format now if you see in the insert or delete columns we are having number of columns over here what is the difference only the number of rows is the difference okay now the position which position you need to add it's in the first row or second row or third row which position you need to add by default we are having first position okay so that it will what will happen it will add the data at the first position okay now okay the main input is change mode this is the same property which we have in the insert or delete columns also you can see add or remove if you're going to change mode as add it will add the rows if you're going to select the mode as remove then it will delete the rows okay at the first scenario that we will see by changing the mode to add row add now sheet now in which sheet that you want to add the rows you want to add in first sheet or which sheet you want to define i want to add it by default it is given as sheet one okay here also in our excel also if you see i'm going to add in sheet one only and the position the second row i will give it i have to add the class two details all these details has to add 
in this one by using first of all I need to add the rows then only I can go ahead and insert the rows first and then I'm going to add the data okay this is how we are going to work it out okay now we have seen all the properties of the insert or delete rows I'm not going to add any kind of data as of now okay just I'm going to add six rows and then I'm going to start the position of one now I'm already having headers right so that I will go ahead and do that at the position two let me save it now for the uh, to hold that one what I'm going to do I'm going to drag and drop this message box over here now I'm going to give it the value as operation completed okay now let me save it now let me run the bot before that let me close this excel and now let me run the bot now if you see excel project execution started now if you see excel over here let me expand this excel now you can see at the position 2 number of rows has been inserted 6 blank rows has been inserted okay so how we have given if you see in our excel let me click on operation complete in that message box now if you see at the position 2 I have given 6 rows has to insert so by using the change mode okay this is how it is going to be now in the same way I will do one more thing I will remove that how it will work already if you see by previous uh, change mode we have added six rows right now what I'm going to I'm going to delete that six rows right now let me go ahead let me save it and now let me run the bot now let me expand this excel if you see over here previously by using change mode as add we have added six rows now by using the same activity insert or delete rows activity we have deleted by changing the mode to remove and then we have deleted that six rows okay I hope you understand how to use it but still I'm going to add some more data I want to transfer the data by using some other properties okay now what I'm going to do let me open the Excel once again let me go to store uh, student marks now in the sheet 2 I'm having some data right so I'm having nine rows of data this nine rows of data I'm going to you read the data by using read range activity and then and I'm going to write the data in this position of one uh, position of two which I have shown by using insert or delete rows activity and then I'm going to write the range over there in that position okay now how many rows that have uh, you know we are having in the sheet two that I'm having nine rows right now let me change the number of rows to nine okay and then at the position I'm going to give it the same position two and the sheet one is the sheet same one now after inserting the rows I'm going to use read range activity to read the data right what I'm going to do I'm going to use read range you can see under Excel under Excel you are having read range let's drag and drop that read range after insert or delete rows now change the mode over here of the you no know, insert or delete rows to change mode to add okay let me go ahead let me save it now I'm going to read range what is the main property that we have you can see the range I'm going to read the entire sheet that's why I'm going to give it as double quotes over here and the sheet name from the sheet 2 I'm going to read not sheet 1 okay I'm going to save it do you have any headers yes in that uh, uh, you know I'm having the headers I'm going to store the data yes where I can store the data output in the data table by setting uh, I'm saying sheet 2 students or I will say class 2 students okay let me click on enter now what will happen in the variable it is going to be creating the variable you can see class 2 students with the variable type data table right now I'm going to use I'm going to write the data right how can I go ahead and write it there are so many ways but I'm going to use write range activity okay let me drag and drop this right range activity onto my panel after read range now if you see in the sheet one I'm going to add it right 
but the position you can see where this position is we are having of inserting at the position 2 that's the reason we are going to give it at a2 okay and which data would table we are going to use it the table which read range output has came right class 2 students and i'm going to write it over here so let me uh, let me select that one if you see class 2 students now let me repeat again I'm going to read the data from the sheet uh, sheet 2 by using read range activity and then I'm going to write the same data you know by using write range activity in sheet 1 from the position of A2 okay before that I'm going to add it that 9 rows how many rows that we are having in the sheet to 9 rows that we are having so that that 9 rows I'm going to insert the rows by using insert or delete rows activity by changing the mode to add okay now if you see i'm going to open the excel in sheet one i don't have this one let me close that now let me run the bot excel project execution started and you can see the excel over here now you can see this role belongs to class two okay so you have defined the position right so uh, you have defined as a2 and the position 2 you have added first you have added null rows and then it has been added all the data by using right range activity in the same way if you want to delete the number of rows based on the position and the number of rows basis you can go ahead and you can do that by changing the mode to delete uh, remove right I hope you understand how to use insert or delete rows activity in this session. Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.